This is the um, spinal cord. And first I want you to get a good look at the model. <laughs> that wasn't a great look, but three-dimensionally you can see a little bit better. And I just want to point out oops, that this is um, a vertebra and the spinal cord. So everything that is white and light gray is a vertebra. And you already learned um, what a vertebra looks like in the bone chapter. But there's a hole in the center of the vertebra where the spinal cord is. So this oval shaped structure here is the actual spinal cord. So now let me go through, I can zoom in because we're focusing on the spinal cord, but if I point on the test to anything out here, then I want you to say vertebra. So the spinal cord is made up of um, gray matter and white matter, but on this model and on most models in anatomy, the gray matter is brown. It's colored brown, not gray. So this butterfly-shaped structure is the gray matter of the spinal cord, and then all of this around it that's mm, a little off-white, but still we're gonna call it white, is white matter. In the center of the spinal cord is a hole, and it's a long tube in the shape of a canal, so we call it the central canal, which you saw before in osteons, right? Um, see that little hole right there? So central canal just means canal in the center, and then around the outside of the spinal cord are membranes because all organs have membranes around the outside of them. In some chapters, you will learn the name of those membranes and in others, you won't. But in this uh, central nervous system, so around the brain and the spinal cord, there are actually three layers of membranes instead of just two. Usually you've got visceral pericardium, parietal pericardium, or visceral pleura and parietal per pleura. But here you have three and they're called meninges. So around the outside, there is um, one, meninx is singular for meninges. So there's one meninx attached to the surface of the spinal cord. So I'm gonna follow it with my pencil all the way around, it's a white layer. And then there's a space. See, my pencil can fit into this space. And that space is between one meninx and the next. So if you look real closely, you could see two layers here of meninges. There's one that is interior and one that's exterior. So those are all called meninges. <clears throat> and then superficial to the meninges is a space that's filled with fat. And this fat here has blood vessels in the fat. So these blood vessels, um, I would ask you to label as well. That's in your lab manual and they're just called blood vessels. But surrounding the blood vessels, all this fat tissue, remember the name for fat tissue is adipose tissue. And that's what you need to know about the vertebrae.